Hi, in this video, I want to show you step by step how to set up a flow that will actually assign a permission set and a PDF button license to a user. In this case, we have a user called test user. Uh, as you can see, he has no permission sets, so he cannot work with a PDF butler. And he also does not have the PDF butler license. Uh, he has some other licenses that are, uh, that come, yeah, out of the box that are other packages that are installed, but he has no PDF butler license assigned. So, uh, we can, of course, manually assign those uh, licenses, but let's say that you have a lot of users, a lot of uh, um, users to create and to manage. You might want to create some automation for that. In this case, we're going to use a flow to do that automation. You can create a triggered flow or uh, any type of other flow that you can do or a scheduled flow. Maybe you want to do it at night with an, or a batch flow with a, a bunch of users. But in this case, I just want to create an... Um, a screen flow so let's go for a flow and here in flows i'm now gonna say i'm gonna create a new flow yes it's a screen flow and let's start from here okay my first element that i want to create is a screen and i'm gonna call this screen uh, select uh, select user okay in this screen, I only gonna look at a lookup component. And here on lookup component, I'm gonna call this find user. Okay, and that shouldn't have any spaces. So a field API name that I'm gonna use here. So here I have to be a little bit creative. So uh, I would rather use the uh, user object, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use the uh, account object uh, and I'm gonna use the created by ID field uh, to select the user that's going to uh, have the, uh, um, that's going to, uh, that, that we want to select. So this uh, lookup will work like on the uh, lookup created by ID uh, field on the account. And then, of course, the created by ID, that's going to be a user, obviously. Okay, let's do the uh, label. The label is going to be find user in this case. All the other items are not required. So I'm going to go for next. In the next step, I want to actually get my uh, PDF butter uh, uh, managed package. So if I would go here to uh, packages, install packages, there is a uh, PDF butler uh, managed package. And as you can see here, the namespace prefix, that's uh, very unique. And that's what we're going to use to identify this very package, because that's the license we want to assign to the user. So let's create a um, get records. This is going to be called get PDF Butler uh, package. Okay. And then on, it's going to be on the object uh, package license. Okay. Voila, like that. And then we're going to say namespace prefix equals, and we're going to copy this one from here. Copy and then paste so cat score not sorted we only want the first record and what i'm going to do here i'm going to instead of select all the fields from the user i'm going to say choose fields that i want to do because i only need the id field so uh, i don't want to use up uh, too much memory uh, or maybe have some uh, delay here because of uh, we have to select all the fields which we're actually not going to use so <clears throat> that's it. That's my package. So in the next step, we're going to create a record. We're going to create a license record. Let's do this right here. Um, it's going to be create records. Uh, okay, let's call this create PDF Butler license for user. Uh, we're going to create one record and we're going to indicate which values directly here. We don't have to uh, do that via a an, uh, an, uh, variable or something like that. Uh, it's user package license. That's the object that we need like this. And then we need to set two fields package license ID. Obviously, you all know that because we just selected that one. That's going to be the ID here. So that's this one. And the next one uh, that we would, oh, sorry, add fields. The next field that we would be the user ID. So, and this one is going to be find user dot record ID. So that's the record ID that we're going to get from there. Done. So that's step one, uh, adding the licenses. So that's already done. Now let's do the same for the permission sets. 
So uh, to have a PDF Butler user, we would actually need uh, only to set one permission set. So this is for an, a user of PDF Butler, not for an admin of PDF Butler. And for the uh, PDF Butler user, I need this permission set, PDF Butler user. That's normally the only permission set that is required to actually run a PDF Butler uh, for for a user. So let's do this one. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do here is say a plus. Then I'm gonna do again and get records. And I'm gonna say this is get get PDF PDF Butler user term set. The object that we're gonna get it from is permission set. Okay, this one. And then let's say the name has to be. I'm gonna go back to the permission set. The name. Uh, it's going to be PDF Butler user, like this one over here. You can also do the API name, uh, depends on uh, what you want to select. So I'm just going to do this one. Oh, sorry. I'm going to do the API name. Going to do this one. So copy this one over here and then say this is going to be the PDF Butler username. And then the other one is going to be the namespace prefix. So I'm going to do the namespace prefix to make sure I take the uh, uh, the permission set from the managed package, because otherwise it might be that you uh, have uh, another permission set called uh, PDF Butler user, and then you assign the wrong one. So I'm just going to add the namespace prefix here to make sure you take the one from the managed package. Okay, I only want one record. I only need the ID field. So all of that is fine. And let's click done. And then the next step is again creating the, uh, the license record. So for this one, we're gonna say uh, create records and we're gonna call this create uh, or assign permission set to user. Okay, so we're gonna create, we're gonna indicate that we wanna set the values right here. The object is a uh, permission set assignment, that's this one. And then the next step is setting the permission set ID to the value. Okay, we just got the permission set, so that's gonna be this one here. And then we're gonna say use the ID field. And we also have to indicate which user, that's gonna be the assignee ID. And this is, uh, of course, the, again, uh, our screen find user uh, record ID. Okay, that's done. So that's all the steps. Let's do maybe an end screen just to give a uh, nice indication here that uh, that all is done. Uh, let's say this is uh, end screen. Okay, and then I'm gonna put here a label or a display text. Okay, and this is uh, done. All done. All done. Okay, and then let's say it's uh, what is done. Um, license, license, assigned, permission set, permission set, assigned. Okay, so these are the ones, the things that are done. Let's save this. Okay, I always uh, like to do a certain kind of uh, naming convention. Say user uh, assign license or assigned PDF Butler Butler license and permission set. Okay, cool. That's it. Click the save button. And now we're ready to uh, to debug it. Huh? Let's take a look if this is gonna work. So uh, just to double check, let's refresh the user. It still has no uh, licenses assigned. Uh, so sorry, not the PDF butter license assigned. It has no uh, permission sets assigned. So the PDF butter uh, uh, license is not here. Everything is looking good. So I can just now say, uh, let's debug this. Okay, I wanna run it. Now I want to use my test user. Yep, this one over here. Click next, and then it's all done. Everything went fine, so the transaction is committed. Means that uh, my user should now have a license and a permission set assigned. Let's refresh my user. 
And indeed, there is one permission set. It's the PDF butter user permission set. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted. And also the license for PDF butter is assigned. Excellent.